There's a, a HBO Max road trip abortion show. If you put oh, HBO geez. Max road trip abortion, like oh, like right it's, oh, it's the pandemic, so we have to drive to get the baby sucked out. It's like a fucking Thelma and Louise of abortion, and um, but you watch the preview. There's something like creepy as hell about it. It really is like fucking it, weird. It's are they it's traveling because of the pandemic? Because that was a big news story when we got shut down. I think it's based on a novel, and I think it's like okay. the girl lives in Texas or something. Oh, I thought you were saying it was like a docu series. Um, yeah, here we go. Fine, you're fine. You always use a condom, so you're fine. Hey, dude. <laughs> I've got this thing. If a young woman needs a procedure, is that possible? Where's the closest facility? There's an Albuquerque in Missouri. The law won't let me get one without my parents knowing. <laughs> I know we're not close anymore. True. And I'm the last person that you want to help. Accurate. But I need your help, and I don't have anywhere else to go. Go where? To get the thing, the the procedure. So you're hiding this from your man, your best friend. Hey, girl. And your Jesus freak parents. And you thought, why not ask Bailey Butler to drive me hundreds of miles? Because she probably doesn't have anything to do anyway. Kind of, yes. Bailey! Bailey, come on! I'm just messing with you. You're right, I do not have anything going on. <laughs> I thought you drove a Camry. This is going to be a fun abortion. Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico. (laughs) Road trip. (laughs) And we'll be home Sunday evening. I'm setting the alarm for 5 a.m. Self-care, huh? I had to post something so people wouldn't bother me. Of course, so people wouldn't know you're with me. We both know you wouldn't do the same for me. You made it really hard to be your friend. I'm sorry that I couldn't be perfect for you all the time. I needed you to be perfect. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Remember when we had that fight, Joe? Yeah. I remember our road trip abortion. Idiot. Brings back a lot of memories. We're driving a stolen car. If you don't help us out, we're going to be in so much trouble. Oh, the feet is. <laughs> I don't think that this is what you really want. It's my life. It's my choice. I mean, and then the title's like a nice punch in the fucking face. But how fucking gross. I mean, like, how bizarre and gross of a fucking uh, road trip. I like the fact that they're just going to, like, go on rides until she's not pregnant. (laughs) I imagine the train jumping. Those are, like, all discount ways of ending the pregnancy. I was going to say, like, are those all things, like, where she's, like, it'll get rid of the baby like this? I, I think I'm making a joke, but it could be. I no, don't know. but I, I mean, but it's weird that she's on that ride screaming, I'm pregnant. It's like, yeah, but you don't want to be pregnant. So why are you screaming that on the ride as if it's something you need to be cautious about? Maybe because th- she has to stay on the ride longer because it still hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 